Hi, and thank you for stopping by um, to Grafted by Bell. Um, this is the last print coming off my one-year-old CR10. It's been a great printer, and the print quality has been good, as you can see from, from this. Um, but it's had a lot of hours, and I thought it was time to give it a bit of a service and look at doing a few upgrades. I'd done the standard upgrades like IKEA Mirror, New Park Cooling Fan, but after some research, I decided to go with an E3D Titan Aero um, upgrade and I was going to do a few extra bits on the way while I had the printer in bits. Stripping down the printer was an interesting challenge. It wasn't very difficult but because of 12 months of pretty much constant news there was a large build up of uh, grease and grime on it so it took some took some cleaning as, as it went along. Um, I had an issue when um, taking apart the, uh, the hot end and getting the burden tube out it was uh, it was really stuck for some reason, and there was some sort of gunk or grease or something within the hot end itself where the uh, where the tube went in. Um, I don't know what this was. If you have any ideas, then uh, comment below and let me know. Um, but it was it was pretty dirty, um, as you can see from the fans. They're pretty full of dust and and whatnot. Uh, the Titan came nicely boxed, but before going crazy and doing the man thing and just jumping straight in, I went over to their website and checked that I had all the bits. On their website, there's a great assembly guide for how to put it together, and I'll link it below. Um, please don't forget to print a mount for the Titan before taking your printer apart, especially if you've only got one. Uh, for this, I jumped on the CR10 group on Facebook and Thingiverse and had a chat with some people and find out what they were using for mounts wise. It was really nicely, the instructions were really nice and um, I was fl it was flying as I put it together um, until I got to put in the heat sink on and found that the, the screws that E3D provided, which were designed for their mount, were three uh, five mil too short. Um, which was quite quite annoying, so they couldn't go quite go in the stepper as you can see. So I jumped on Amazon and waited till the next day, kind of thing, for 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 some new screws to arrive. Um, so with with that, the next day I jumped on to doing some alterations to the electronics. Um, always had issues with the hot end temperature dancing up and down, so I decided to put a capacitor across the fuse to the ground plate. I ended up using a 470 microfarad capacitor. Because um, I had it lying around, it's recommended that you're a 220 microfarad. Um, I did end up taking lots of pictures before taking the control box apart, so I knew that it would kind of all go back together in a good way. The screws had come, and I got on with the rest of the installation. I'm a bit of a, a cable management freak and can't do with things being done by half, so I decided to get myself. A cable harness extension for the CR10 and re-terminate everything um, so that it was all within the braided um, braided case back to back to the control um, box. It wasn't individual cables, um, so yeah, um, that included re-terminating the hot end, the cooling fan, the part cooling fan, and doing the extruder cable within the braiding. Um, after putting it all back together, I ended up flashing the bootloader and installing the TH3D firmware. I'm not going to go over this, but I'll link um, down below instructions to their website and how to do it kind of thing, and um, it was great. Um, the only issue I had was with the bootloader, it took about 15 times. It just wouldn't take, follow the steps over and over again, and then it just happened. Don't know what that was. After flashing the TH3D firmware, uh, set about setting up the Titan extruder and setting the steps per millimeter and, and all that. I had issues here. Um, the Titan firmware seemed to, uh, when adjusting the firmware, didn't seem to do anything. Extrude 100 millimeters and it extruded 20. So I had to jump back on the internet, start reading around, asking questions, and found out that my calculations were right, but I needed to do an M502 to read the parameters from the config file and then an M500 to store the parameters to the to the EEPROM. And after that, it was extruding filament fine. So I kind of, after that, I jumped in uh, Simplify 3D and made some alterations to the retraction settings and turned off the wipe and coast to see what would happen. Jumped over to Thingiverse, got a retraction test, 
and started slicing and printing. This was almost perfect. Nothing like I'd ever had off the printer before and the quality was unbelievable. I did find that I had to drop the speed and acceleration as there was more weight on the X carriage and the printer was starting to make some interesting noises and vibrations. Um, so that went really well and the print came out nearly perfect. Um, after that I spoke to a few people on the CR10 group that had Titans and got their coasting and wipe settings. I ended up landing at uh, a 0.1 millimeter for coasting and a 4 millimeter for the wipe. Um, as there was more control over the filament from the extruder. I found that on a uh, on a 0 0.2 coast left a gap between the start and the stop. Um, I've never experienced this before. Normally there's a blob, but this was a perfect thing. I am finding that I'm having to print 30 degrees cooler than I was with the stock hot end. Um, I always thought there was some sort of issue with the temperature and was always printing higher than the recommended amount by the manufacturer. I do hope you found some of these aspects of this video useful. If you have any questions please comment below and, um, and I'll be happy to help you where I can. Happy printing!